And once again, we are in Mount Carmel Cemetery, which is located in the charming city of Hillside, Illinois. We are coming up to the gravesite of Antonio Lombardo, who was born on November 23rd of 1881 and died on September 7th of 1928. Lombardo is located in Section M of the cemetery. Lombardo, who was born in Sicily, immigrated to the United States in the early 1900s. Upon arrival to America, he became a successful owner of a wholesale grocery store business. A longtime mafia associate, Lombardo became Al Capone's advisor after the retirement of Johnny Torrio in 1925. During Lombardo's tenure as Capone's advisor, he tried unsuccessfully to negotiate a peace treaty between the Capone mob and the North Side mob during a four-year gang war which took multiple lives. Okay, now here's the thing. The Northsiders wanted Capone to hand over the assassins of Dean O'Banion. The assassins are alleged to have been Albert Insomi and John Scalise. Keep in mind, Capone pretty much refused the demand to hand over his prized assassins. Moving along, Lombardo, with the help of Al Capone, later became the president of the Union Siciliana in November of 1925. During Lombardo's reign as leader of this fraternal group, he instituted reforms which included but was not limited to allowing non-Sicilian Italian immigrants into the organization and changing its name to the Italo-American National Union. Lombardo's reforms caused some resentment with hardline union members. No doubt because of the partnership with Al Capone and New York mob boss Frankie Yale. Quite possibly due to the payoff sending from the Union Siciliana to Yale. Meanwhile, Lombardo would be challenged for the presidency of the Union by Joe Aiello, who was supported by Yale in January of 1928. Lombardo, however, refused to resign and continued to organize civic projects under the banner of the Union Siciliana shortly before his death in 1928. Lombardo's demise came when he was gunned down along with bodyguard Joseph Ferrero, allegedly at the hands of the Aiello and Northside Gang. The assassination of Antonio Lombardo took place at the intersection of Madison and Dearborn Street in Chicago. It is noted that Bugs Moran ordered the hit on Antonio Lombardo with the help of Joseph Aiello. Lombardo's murder was soon avenged with the murders of several members of Joe Aiello's gang. Only one gunman was identified in Lombardo's death, a man by the name of Frank Marco or Marlo, who was killed in New York City on February 17th of 1931. A possible unknown accomplice to Marco was killed September 9th of 1928 in Michigan.